welcome to Wrestling Talk in the Shop, where we cover all things professional wrestling, from new wrestling to classic wrestling and everything in between. We go to wrestling, we do some wrestling, and everything in the ring. Join us now for Wrestling Talk in the Shop. Hey guys, it's John from Wrestling Talk in the Shop, and today we're going to go over the uh, Crumb Ryan Big Gold World Belt. This is uh, made by FanDuel. I believe it's the Lux Edition. I've had this belt for quite some time. And uh, I, I got, when I bought it, I bought the expensive one. So I think that was, I think I gave like 7 75 for it or something like that. I believe it's the uh, the Lux Edition. Since this belt, I really wanted this belt. And I can't, I would really like to have like a, uh, is a uh, I know there's several people that make this belt. I know Top Rope Belts makes a, a version of it. And, uh, uh, there's several people that make a belt, but at the time when I bought this belt, that WWE hadn't re they hadn't uh, released their Crumb Ryan version, and since then they've released theirs. Which a lot of people I haven't I don't own it, but a lot of people say it's really good. But to me, this is the at the time this was the best affordable version for me. But anyway, we'll uh, come right over and take a look at it. You can uh, see, I mean, it's a pretty good leather strap, and uh, this belt represents. To me, this is the, the uh, best looking World Heavyweight Championship belt there ever was. And you notice I have the uh, R-I-C-K, Rick, his, that's not how you spell his name, but when he debuted this belt, it was, you know, his name plate was spelt, his name was spelt wrong, Rick Flair. His name, you know, of course he goes, and there's no K on the end of it. And, but that's how the, uh, and I said, well, I want my name plate to say Rick, you know, like it was on the end, you know, uh, but this is, uh, I mean, you can see, I mean, this is it's like a crown. I mean, to me, it's just a, the only the only belt that I would compare this to is maybe the AEW World Heavyweight Champion. You know, it's sort of comparable to it. You know, it's, but to me, this is belt is just, when I was a kid, I was just like, wow. And I remember when uh, Ric Flair, he left for the, uh, he left WCW in like 93 or 92, I believe, was when it was. And he carried that belt with him. And I thought that was the coolest thing. And I thought, well, maybe Hulk Hogan will get to challenge him and uh, beat, you know, beat, uh, and he'll have the WWF title and the NWA World Title. But uh, shortly, they got into WCW and uh, WWE, WWF at the time. They, they uh, ended up. He, Flair didn't have it long. He ended up using a tag team belt. But anyway, we'll come on. We'll talk about this belt, Lindsay. We'll start over here. You can see it's, it's pretty simple design. I mean, there's only three plates on it. You can see it's got the snaps over here and. Uh, that plate's got the jewels, three jewels there, and that design. And there's two guys wrestling there, and you can see. I mean, it's, uh, and then you move along here. Got the braiding. Yeah, very, it's got that, that border, that, uh, I guess you might say rope border, you know, style. And it's got two guys wrestling. And this belt never, never said, well, there was one version that said NWA on it. There, and, I, and I've seen it, you know, on TV before, but it didn't. But mainly this belt never said WCW. I know WWE had one later on where they said, you know, it's they had a WWE logo up here. But the whole time it was the, uh, and I love the 10 pounds of gold, but when this replaced it, pretty much Jim Crockett's commissioned, uh, he commissioned to have it done by a jeweler, wasn't it? Wasn't mm -hmm. it? Well, yeah. A silversmith. Yeah, a silversmith. And uh, for, by that time, Jim Crockett pretty much, there was no NWA. It was just Jim Crockett promotions, you know, all the other NWA tier territories were dying out you know and he pretty much had Ric Flair to himself you know but anyway we could go over this uh, plates removable yeah it's got a crown there I mean you can see it's you know uh, jewel and then uh, Conrad Thompson he owns the actual one and I mean it, there's a bend here and that's why they I know Hulk Hogan has said he has it but it's later been said that there was cast that WCW had cast made at the end and uh, he didn't, uh, and that's one of the ones that Hulk Hogan has at his shop in uh, Florida, Florida, Tampa, Florida, wherever that is. Clearwater, Clearwater. Beach. Yeah, Clearwater Beach. But uh, I didn't see it when I was there, but they said it's there. But Conrad Thompson owns that one. And so the story goes, I don't know, but he bought it from uh, Scott Steiner. And Scott Steiner bought a Corvette with it, so whatever. <laughs> but anyway, you can see uh, this is a, uh, see, anyway, then you go over here on the uh, thing, and this. Oh, I'll move. We got the other side plate there. You've got uh, jewels here and two guys wrestling there. I mean, like I said, I, I love this uh, fan. This is the only fan duel belt that I have. And I, we, 
I love this. And then the strap, I mean, it looks good too. There's no exposed screws like you see on most replicas. This is pretty much as, I mean, it looks to me as well, appears. Yeah, the these, the, yeah, this for the nameplate, the removable nameplate. But you can, you can get that. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I mean, this belt's very good quality for the price. And I mean, like I said, a lot of people have said that they like that uh, WWE Shop Chrome Run version. I don't own it, so I therefore I don't, I can't speak on that. I mean, one day I may get it, but I just haven't, you know, I've got so many replicas. Uh, I've gotten to where I'm gonna buy special ones, you know. I mean, I'm not saying I ain't gonna buy that one, but I haven't yet. But I love this belt. I mean, and it's, you know, it's, you know, cute. I mean, it, you can clearly tell this is a World Heavyweight Championship belt. And then I own, I got this other, uh, the uh, collection, wrestling collection I bought a while back. This is a WWE uh, shop version. Uh, pretty old, I see, I don't know what. This was, they changed it up. You know, it's not really necessarily the, I mean, you can't, from the average, you can't tell, can you tell any difference in this belt, Lindsay, by looking at it? I mean, I know it's, Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, this one's not different. quite as 3D, you know, it's, I mean, it's pretty much the same belt, you know. It's not quite as embossed as yeah, this one. Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, I guess embossed was the word I was looking yeah. for. But, uh, definitely not as pretty yeah. as this one. It's but all like solid. Color. This replica this is, is pretty, yeah, this is pretty reasonable replica. I think you can still get this on WWE Shop. And, uh, you okay. see, it's over here, it's pretty much got the, the jewels there. And this is a gold, this is very gold. I mean, that's gold too, but this is really like all gold, yeah, all gold. You know, it's got the same red jewels there. Let's see what the plates it says, World Heavyweight Champion. You know, some of them say WWE on that i don't know about this one doesn't yeah this one has an empty nameplate yeah empty name and i don't even think the nameplate it's not even yeah, it's it's not even removable. it's a part of the yeah the, the whole place this one is from let's see 2015. You can, i'll turn it around so to and uh yeah this is a uh, official replica let's measure this one compared to the size we'll play on And like I said, we're not comparing apples to apples here, but uh, they're, pretty similar in they're size. pretty much similar in size, yeah. This one is a rounded plate, yeah. whereas this one is a flat plate. Right. So if you look like, look, yeah, see yeah. how that's rounded? Yeah, and, and then that then one's flat, one, that one's flat as a pancake. This is a flat lay. Flat as But like I said, we're not comparing apples to apples. Uh, I originally said I was going to sell that one, but, you know, it's hard to sell stuff, especially when you already own it and you don't really... You don't really need the money, you know, so I thought, well, hell, why do I want to sell it, you know? But like I said, as far as World Heavyweight Championship belts, in, in WCW, NWA, this was the World Heavyweight Championship. WWE, they sort of knocked it down a little bit whenever they, uh, whenever they introduced it as their World Heavyweight Champion. Well, hell, they gave it to Triple H out of a briefcase when it first debuted. Is that, and, uh, but, I mean, this belt, I don't think anyone actually owns the rights to this belt. I believe you could start a wrestling promotion today and use this as your World Heavyweight Championship. But I believe that's the way, it, you know, I'm not 100%, don't quote me on that, but I believe that's the way it is. I mean, there's several people that sell it. See, if, I mean, I, I can't, there's one that's uh, real, real expensive. I can't remember what their uh, belt, but they make them and, you know, there's several people that, that I don't think anyone actually owns the rights to this because it was, you know, Jim Crockett, you know, they introduced it, but, uh, like I said, this is my my favorite, and then we even got a version of it now with the world current world heavyweight championship that Damian Priest is on. This sort of the similar, you know, has features of this too as well. Very similar, style. very similar. You know, they, they do have their WWE logo in the middle of it. But uh, this was, you know, if you were carrying this, you were you were everyone knew you were world heavyweight champion. I mean, there's, you know, to me this was I, I put this one above the wing winged eagle, you know. To me, this is the the best world heavyweight championship belt around, you know. And uh, but, anyways, there you have it. I just wanted to uh, own these belts for a while, and we do a lot of belt reviews, a lot of wrestling stuff. If you're watching this, we do all kinds of wrestling stuff on the channel. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell and uh, give us your two cents. And thanks for watching. Yeah, if you've got one, you know, let us know yeah. which one you've got, which yeah, one you prefer. I mean, uh, a lot of people. I mean, a lot. I know a lot of people love that Chrome Run that WCW, WCW, the WWE shop has put out, and I may pick it up eventually. You know, 
like I said, it's. I usually like to wait till they get them on sale for a little while. You know, they run them on sale. Especially around Christmas, they're on yeah, sale real right. good. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell.